Welcome to The Composer's Corner. And welcome back to The Composer's Corner. So you've taken a trip down Melody Lane with a group known as the Pawn Hearts. And the two main members of the group are with us today in the studio. Welcome, please, the Pawn Hearts, Mr. Glenn Lachlan and Deborah G. Welcome, you guys. How are you doing? Good. How are Great. you? Okay, now one of the things that I discovered when I was researching you guys is the information about you being in a very bad car accident in 1984, which required you to make uh, certain changes in how you played. And one of the things that you brought up was the fact that uh, you go into open tunings. Could you explain to people uh, who don't understand what an open tuning is, first of all, it's something that's basically used on guitars, um, explain the difference between open tuning, standard tuning, and alternative tuning? if you'd be so kind. Cause sure. I'm sure. And how does that work? Standard tuning, I think, came in around the Renaissance. Um, before that, there were many different ways to tune lutes and other guitar-like instruments. And somebody decided at some point that this was the way we were going to do it. So there's a certain way that most guitar players all tune a guitar normally. And uh, sometimes people experiment and try different ways, either older ways like lute tunings or their own creative tunings or certain standard alternative tunings, usually open tunings, which refers to having an open chord or something that sounds consonant, harmonic, or pleasant when you play it open, meaning no Open no tuning fingering. is generally favored by a lot of slide players. That's uh, like true. an open E or an open D, I suppose, probably open E more commonly. But let's say a standard tuning is what? E, A, D, G, B, A, right? Uh, that's G, B, E. E. I'm sorry, G, B, E. So that's E, A, D, G, B, E. Correct. Now, what is an open tuning? Well, an open tuning would be, uh, if that, that tuning itself, it could be considered open if you like the sound of just hitting that open. But for most people, a uh, uh, suspended nine chord's not really that, that lovely. So uh, an open tuning would be one that would sound like a, a fingered chord. You know, like if you just played it like that, if it was truly open. This is, this is an open tuning, which is a minor chord when it's open, or a major with one finger down. How did down. you tune your strings? So you tuned your E to a what, your A to a um, what? It's, it's the same as standard, okay. except that the A string would be tuned up a whole step, which is a B, and the D string is tuned up a whole step, which is an E. So that produces, uh, without the capo, it produces an open E minor. With the capo where it is, it's an open B minor, uh, B flat minor, excuse me. And um, I use a lot of tunings that are not really open tunings, but they're alternative tunings. They're tunings that I developed that if you played them open, they sound pretty awful, but they facilitate my, my style. How did that affect you emotionally? I mean, you know, I, I had these visions of you in a hospital bed with your hand in ice and somebody saying, you'll never walk again or you'll never play again, and you getting this light saying, I will, I will, if I just use open alternative tunings. <laughs> but what, what about you, you know, I mean, was that a difficult trans transition to make? Um, no, I, I think I have a pretty philosophical personality, so I can't honestly say that I ever despaired or really got all that wrapped around the axle about it. I, I didn't think that all of my talent was in my left hand. So I really just thought that my job was to figure out how to express myself in another way. Mm -hmm. Because at first I didn't think that I would be able to play again. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I had several doctors come in, one, one that I can remember very clearly that was very, uh, seemed almost nasty about it and telling me that there was no way that I'd ever play again. And I found out later that she was a professional cellist. And, oh, so uh, she was gleeful in your misfortune, huh? No, I, th I think she was trying to save me from having high hopes that would be, uh, you know, knocked down later. But uh, as it turned out, um, I just worked at it and, you know, came up with well, meanwhile, ways Meanwhile, by this time, you had also developed your own style as far as flat picking techniques. Now, I like to use my hands on a guitar, you know, just... And you use flat picking your flat hand pick, and yeah. fingers, right? I use my fingers a little bit, but I'm really, really terrible with my fingers. Mostly I use the flat pick. So you're one of these people that can just kind of move back and yeah. forth with accuracy, and you don't need uh, sensors in the bottoms of your picks. See, that's my problem with picks, is I can't feel the strings with them. So, and I never am sure which string I'm on when I'm playing them, but that's... Yeah, I that's kind of second nature to me for the most part. You know, finger picking, even the simplest finger picking is uh, pretty, pretty hard. I went to a teacher one time because I wanted to learn finger style. He said, well, let's see how you play. So I played, and 
And he said, you're right, you were awful. And uh, so he said, well, let's see how you normally play. And I played, and he said, my God, you're better than I am. And, uh -huh. and, you know, because he played mandolin flat picking style also. So uh, I tried to learn it, but I, I never really mastered it. Mm -hmm. You are a guitarist as well. And you are also a songwriter. One of the things that I wanted to go into is what's the dynamic like writing a song? The song that, we, that I opened with is a song that you two wrote together. Who of the two of you is more lyrical and who of the two of you is more melodical? In other words, which one of, uh, in this song, who wrote the lyrics, for instance? Glenn uh, wrote. Glenn wrote I, I the wrote lyrics. the lyrics, but I should point out that there was a third writer on this song, okay. uh, Thomas Gallagher, who coincidentally was a mutual friend of ours before we knew each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, then... Separately. Yeah, you know, we knew each other. Interesting. Uh -huh. So he, okay. he, he wrote that song with us. Okay, well now, it's time for you guys to do something that I've never heard. You just finally handed in the lyrics to me so I get to read them. Please, perform something for me. Show me that you're actually really talented. Oh. Who wrote this? I, Lynn I wrote this. Lynn wrote this? Okay. Knock yourselves out. Um. 